move right on in close, folks. The closer you are, the safer you are, because our pickpockets are not allowed to work the first ten rows in the state of California. Come on in. Yeah, I'm in this state of insanity. Yeah. Don't look at me like that, honey. It's really happening here. Yeah. I began the circus on a street corner in San Jose, working alone, just to see if I could handle an open-ended audience. And I did my magic comedy, um, balancing and a little juggling, escape act. Here we go, all the way. Now, don't have pity on him, folks. The most dangerous trick this dog ever did was get here on Highway 99. <laughs> My first passion in life was the circus. That's the first thing I can ever remember being excited about when I was very small, four and five years old. They took me to see Cole Brothers Circus, my family did, and I never recovered. The world's smallest circus performed for your entertainment and pleasure by the world's smallest minds. That's right. Back again, tinier and better than ever. So small, you see it all, but always working for the biggest paychecks in American show business today, the laughter in your eyes and the sunshine possible in your hearts. I don't remember very much about it. I remember the clown firehouse gang. I remember that the sidewall of the tent was red and white stripes. I remember tripping over a rope on the way out. But most of all, I remember my mother's telling me on the way off the lot that night that none of this immense canvas city would be there tomorrow. Now that, that elusiveness, it didn't belong to us. That caliber of a thing never, that was the romance. That never left me. So I played at circus all my childhood, but it was my first passion. I think my second big passion was uh, meeting with God when I was a little boy. My grandfather was very solicitous about my religious formation. And I had um, a religious experience. I was a religious person and eventually uh, put that into shape uh, by preparing a ministry as a priest. And I tried several false starts with how to minister as a priest until gradually when I was in theater doing that as a ministry, I began to listen to this first passion of my heart, which was still very much alive, and circus fed my theatrical instincts with a format with which to minister to many more people than I could minister to in the theater, because the theater is a precious place. You have to have precious tickets in your hands, and you have to be a person who has a precious education, so you already care something about the literature being formed, and you have to go into a building, and you got to watch precious people do precious things. It's sort of a closed world. I love it, but it doesn't get to the people that you get to when you work on the streets. So, I'm um, who I am, and who I am happens to be a circus clown and a priest.
I want to ask you, is that real fire, ma'am? Huh? It is. All right. Wonderful. I have to be sure. Because about six years ago, our show was in New Orleans, Louisiana. A lady saw what you're about to see. She said, oh, that's easy. That's done with mirrors. I am a slow learner, sir. It took me one full year to figure out that the lady was done with mirrors. Now, I'm one of the world's few bearded fire eaters, and if this doesn't work this afternoon, there will be fewer of us, all right? Now, you don't usually see people do this with a blowtorch, do you? All right. Ah, here we go. What a way to make a living, huh? So who's making a living? All right, here it is. I got to do it. It's on film. All right. Don't do it, lady. You're wrecking my act. Okay, here it is. <laughs> This is going to be a quickie. Don't do it! <laughs> now, some of you folks are probably worried about the little kids watching this, right? Worry just as much or more the next time you let them see you or anyone else light up a cigarette, because it's God's truth that what you're watching is not half as dangerous as smoking cigarettes. That's also unsolicited by the American Medical Association, who are running a circus of their own. Watch it! Now. Here we go. Right. Not too much we might... Don't say no. 